Hi folks, when you're watching this video, I'm sure that I don't need to explain to you how important email encryption is. And actually it's also pretty easy to set up. So I'm going to show you how to do that on a Mac using GPG tools together with two different email clients. One of them is Thunderbird by Mozilla Foundation and the other one is just the normal Apple Mac email client. So when you've downloaded GPG tools, and Thunderbird. Let's get started by firing up Thunderbird with a fresh account and installing Adding Mail. This is can be done by going to Tools and Add-ons. Just search here for Adding Mail. Here we go. Installing. Restart. And now you will see here this new menu item coming up. Click on any mail and go to the setup wizard. I prefer a standard configuration recommended for beginners. Okay, that sounds good. Continue. And first thing is the creation of a public key and private key pair. Uh, in order to protect your private key, you will need a passphrase. Typically, this is a very long password consisting of 20, 30 or even more characters. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'll just choose a very short and insecure eight characters passphrase. Continue. And now the key pair is being created. And also here we got the opportunity to create a revocation certificate. This is very useful um, because um, when you have to revoke your key uh, from a key server, you should always have this certificate at hand. So, I just create a certificate and download it to my desktop. And also it's highly recommended to do a good backup of this file. So now we are good. And then email is set up. So now let's have a look at the key pair we just created. So go to a GPG keychain. And here we have a sec pub. The sec is the secret key, pub is the public key. The name is Bob, email bob at medium.de, and it's valid. And we can just email this public key to our friend Alice. To Alice at medium.de. And this email says my public key to secure our messages. So here we've got some information in case Alice doesn't know how to set up PGP. She could just download all the software here. And okay, I just sent this email and I can also already sign this email. Go to send. And now let's switch to Alice's side. So Alice is also a new user using Apple Mail. And we just set up this account by using something very neat. This is called the mobile config. Install the profile. Install. And here we go. So here is now our brand new email account and already the message from Bob. And Bob says, attached, you will find my public key. That's great. So we can just import this public key to our keychain. Okay. But it looks like there is no attachment to this email. So I just switch back to Thunderbird and Bob's email and try it again. Just write to Alice at Melium. My and attach public key and sign it. Let's see if that works. Okay, now we've got an attachment. So apparently this is a bug in Thunderbird or any mail for some reason. So I can just go here and double click. And now here in the GPG keychain, we will get a new key. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yes, Bob's key is already in there, so that's all fine. So what Alice has to do now is to create her key pair. So how can this be done? Unfortunately, um, in Apple Mail, it is not so easy. But you can just go to Preferences, go to GPG Mail, and switch on Encrypt My Messages by default. And in order to create a key, you need to go to the GPG keychain and just do something new. My full name is Alice. Passphrase. Generate key. Oops. Talking and typing at the same time is a little bit difficult. So, okay, continue with simple passphrase, that's fine. Okay, we need more entropy, so let's move the mouse and see if that helps. Right, so now we have like Alice, secret and public key, and also Bob's secret and public key. Um, sometimes it's called private key, sometimes it's called secret key, whatever, um, don't give this key out. The public key is the only thing that should leave your computer. All right, that looks good so far. So let's switch back to Apple Mail and reply to Bob's message. And yay, we've got here some new options. We can now encrypt our email and sign our email. Um, this works very well. And let's send this email. We switch back to Thunderbird, which is uh, Bob's account. And here we've got my key from Alice. And so here, what you can see, um, decrypted message, good signature from Alice, Alice at MailyMD. And here we have one symbol that shows that this message has been signed. And another symbol that shows that it has been encrypted. So this works very well. Let's try to reply to this email. The UI is a little bit different here in Thunderbird. I write to Alice. Thanks for your mail. Works very well. Bob. And we can encrypt our email and sign our email uh, and just send it. Okay, no wallet key. But we can just do refresh key list. Okay, now we've got her email. Alice at mail.de looks good. Let's do send. Okay, and here we are. So now we have set up a perfect system of GPG encrypted emails, signed and encrypted emails between two parties called Alice and Bob. Bob using Mozilla Thunderbird and Alice using Apple Mail. I hope this little tutorial was nice. And um, if you have questions, just put them down in the comments. And see you next time. Bye.